right, so uh, we've got our sub flooring in and done. We're getting ready to uh, we're getting ready to uh, lay some uh, sheets down for sub flooring. We're nearly done, y'all. Hang in there. The chicken palace is almost done. Yes, sir. Decking is going on now. It's all over but the killing. Moment of truth. We get to figure it out. Oh, yeah. That's level, baby. Level and plumb. Let's check somewhere else. Let's check over here. It's out just a little bit there. Just a little bit. Let's check over here. Can see the difference in the... That looks good to me. That's level. Look here. Here. Level and true. Level and true, baby. Let's go, let's go. Give me some love, baby. Give me some love. High five. Let's go. Country boy. Did that with a shovel and with a level, two foot level, and with a compass. Built a little dance floor. Built a little dance floor. Thus concludes part one of the chicken coop to house bobbleheads chickens. The coolest chickens in Arkansas. <laughs> Y'all have a blessed day. Know that I love you and God bless. Well, hey guys, it is day two of the chicken build and uh, we're trying to get the walls up on the chicken house today. I don't know how far the video is gonna get, but um, let me show you what we're working on as far as getting walls we're getting ready up. to lay that 16 foot wall in the back. And what we're doing is just pulling off the edge and marking two feet, every two foot. And that'll be the, uh, <clears throat> the right hand side of the stud if you're facing the wall. That way you're, you're gonna be on two foot centers from the end, two foot, two foot, two foot, all the way down through 16 feet. So we'll have two foot centers. Now we will double up on the far end just so we've got more stability in the corners. And then um, that's the way we're gonna do this. It's hot out here. It's about 93, 94. Got some ice cold lemonade. Ah, that's good stuff. Getting some, uh, getting this next wall laid out so that way we can begin to put it up. I'm gonna put you in fast forward and you can see the progress. We've got this third wall stood up. Luke's working on laying out the wall for the other side. And then we'll do a couple of, we'll try to get both the interior walls done. Not sure we can get those done, but we're gonna try to get those done. May need a, a little bit more material to do that, but we're not too worried about it. The project's going really well. Hey, right, tell me about this. Are you, uh, you proud of the way it's going or what? Yeah, I think it's working out good. Yeah. Considering uh, what we start this morning, we started with just the concrete pads and then we got to the end of part one and it's same day as part one, right? We're just continuing on with part two, standing up these walls. So uh, 
We will keep you in the loop as we continue to make progress. Uh, we are building the chicken palace for the bobblehead coolest chickens in the state of Arkansas, y'all. Right here on uh, the Arkansas Woodcutter Homestead. The chicken palace for the coolest chickens in the state of Arkansas. We're just getting ready for some chickens over here. Building this chicken palace. Jeff, you realized you uh, sold chickens to a crazy person, right? What was I thinking building? Never mind. I'm putting your chickens in a chicken palace. It is way overkill, and I think I've made a huge mistake or error in judgment. In the day, some serious work going on, trying to figure out the roofing, how much overhang we're going to have on this roof joist system. Um, it's, uh, it's still a work in progress. We're excited about what's going on here, but uh, lots left to do. So uh, we figured out how to do the dovetails and uh, we got us one to work and then we just followed the pattern for the others. And uh, the hardest thing was getting the first one lined up. But uh, once we got that one, we used a uh, one before for our depth. We used a T-square to get our up angle. And then we wanted them to sit down a one before depth. So we got a one before line across and then our interior line is with a T-square. And then we copied that on the back after we got that. We knew we were coming back 29 inches. We fit the first one to make sure it was gonna work. And then we just used it as a pattern to do the rest of it. So uh, what was extremely complicated and hard for us at first has turned into something that uh, we learned how to do and uh, super excited about that. So the roof on the Bobblehead Homestead Chicken, Coolest Chickens in Arkansas Chicken Palace is coming together. Luke is uh, getting the uh, lats in for the uh, the metal we're going to put on the roof. And, uh, yeah, it's probably overkill, but uh, you know we're we're trying to build something one time, so we don't have to keep coming back and repairing and repairing. We're trying to build something permanent here. Joyce. Shit. Alright. You gotta cut that out. I will. How level are our joists? It's pretty cool, man. It's all level and square. Isn't it? Nicely done, my man. Nicely done. So we had to pick up just a few more things at the uh, shop. We decided to go ahead and go with new tin on the roof and we got a little surprise that we're going to show you when we do the roofing if i can but, get uh, some of these beautiful flowers in the background um we got more material y'all i'm tired in case you can't tell i'm worn out but uh we're gonna get this unloaded and uh we'll get back to you on this uh chicken palace upload what are we calling this thing? I don't even know. The bobblehead chicken palace for the coolest chickens in the world. We'll see you soon. Hey YouTube, it's a uh, it's another day here on the homestead working on the chicken coop. Oh, 
I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired. Uh, Blue Star Dave last night uh, decided he was done. And we may have seen the last of Blue Star Dave. I think he'll be back. But I certainly understand the position he's in and just being tired of everything going on and just wanting to hang out. Um, but we're going to put a roof on the chicken pen today. I've got to feed some animals. I've got some more help. Uh, my help that my middle son that was helping me, he's going to Las Vegas. I know, right? I'm, that's a scary thought. My 21-year-old in Vegas with he and his homeboys. I think there was a movie made about that. Uh, but uh, here we are. We're going to put some roofing material on this today. And uh, my help is coming right there. Well, what do you think? It's going to look good. Yeah? We're getting it done, aren't we? I think I've got better help today, y'all. Uh, we're just using a uh, one-inch screw with a rubberized washer on it and uh, making sure it's at 90 degrees. And you don't want to run them too hard because if you do, then they'll leak. So don't over, over install these. That's all it takes. <laughs> so there is the roof. It's all on now. Isn't that cool, guys? We have got it. Got it, got it, got it. Really enjoy this. It's uh, amazing we got this roof done. Exciting stuff, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, now we're going to put the uh, the rest of the siding on. Yay. Yay. That sounds horrible, doesn't it? Yeah. 